Hi, I'm Greg Ismay. Welcome to the blog. Hey, today we're going to talk about something different. Uh, I'm going to do a series of videos, and this is the first where we're going to feature uh, folks that we uh, meet along the way and doing business. And uh, today we're going to feature John Riggle, who uh, has a really cool uh, wood shop in his garage. And uh, John's going to tell us a little bit about that. <music> Hey everybody, I'm John Riggle. Uh, welcome to my wood shop. We're called J-Rig Woodworks here in Wake Forest, North Carolina. Uh, just real quickly how I got started with this is uh, a couple years ago, about five I guess, my wife wanted me to redo some countertops and uh, butcher block style countertops. And to make a long story short, the, uh, the sink cut out turned into a really nice uh, cutting board for my wife. Next thing you know, all the neighbors wanted cutting boards and I'm finding myself making cutting boards all the time. I figured why not get paid for it, right? So it turned into a little a little business and it's it's grown ever since and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it and I've been able to uh, accumulate some good uh, equipment along the way and here we are in my garage. So mostly what I do is butcher block style cutting boards. Um, it's actually a pretty simple process. I buy rough cut lumber off of a local supplier, cut it down into workable pieces such as this plain down and smooth, ready to be glued together. If you come over this way, I take those pieces, arrange them in different wood types, different patterns, and I glue them up um, to make a, a rough blank, if you will. Um, let those set for about a day in the clamping system. And then it's time to plane them down, sand them down, and finish them how I would like. Uh, I got a small planer here, which makes them nice and smooth on both sides. So I've got numerous different sanding uh, methods. Uh, I've got a router table, nice table saw here, cut them to the dimensions, route the edges how the customer likes. Um, bring them over here, you see uh, some work in progress here. here here's a typical cutting board um, you know partially sanded with edges routed um, when it's all said and done uh, I give it a mineral oil treatment to bring out the wood grains and the colors I also have um, uh, the ability to do engravings you see here a CNC router uh, this is really neat I can put people's names uh, sports logos uh, Ismay Realty logos, whatever the customer wants, uh, do a nice little personal engraving in their cutting boards, uh, personalized wooden signs, um, anything like that. So it's a really neat piece of equipment.